They can clock speeds of up to 80 kilometers an hour, but most of them are just about a foot in size. They are powered either by fuel or battery and they are controlled by radio waves. These are RC cars or radio controlled cars. Looking for some radio controlled fun brings me to Della Adventures in the hill town of Lunavla near Mumbai. In-house expert Kiran Varma has been passionate about RC cars ever since he can remember and he spends most of his time tinkering with these machines. Now modifying and maintaining these toys comes quite naturally to Kiran. Son of an aeronautical engineer, he's got his hands dirty pretty early in life. 20 years Kiran has been working in the RC cars, RC uh, choppers, RC aircraft kind of space. At some point it became uh, from a hobby, it became a profession for you. How did it all begin? It started since childhood, like uh, as, as people get toys to play, like it was in my house itself. Like I used to watch my uncle flying aircraft and all those things and the scrap wood which remains which used to remain like I used to make small small aircraft when my uh, career uh, for becoming a commercial pilot uh, didn't turn up I turned my side to this and around that time this hobby was just picking up it was growing in India these kind of cars uh, the ones that are driving uh, past around us uh, there must be lots of variety there they have lots lots this this it's an addiction, like, it's a never-ending story, like, once you get the hang of it, once you are into it, you are into it, you can't leave this thing, like, you start with the, the basic, the basic car starts from around, say, you can say the cost starts from 10,000. As little as 10,000 rupees, you can have an RC car Yeah, your own. RC car, and a proper professional car, it, these are not toys, these are proper machines. How and close do they come to the real thing? It's very very close to real thing because these cars have disc brake, traction control, 4x4 drive mechanism, speed goes same as of big car, speed is around more than 100 km per hour. So is it very different from actually driving a car? Yeah because in actual car you are inside and in this you are outside and controlling it and it's a high speed car. Tell me are these cars very very difficult to maintain? Uh, no not exactly. Slightly difficult, but now like uh, the cars which are coming up recently, uh, you can say the parts wise, these are rugged cars like you can, don't need that much maintenance now. Uh, to maintain a car, it depends like 4,000 to 5,000 rupees. 4,000 to 5,000 rupees, you need to every month. Yeah. You know, just looking at these cars over here makes me want to uh, be able to uh, control them as well and you're the perfect man to teach me how to do it. So let's just try it. Now oh, this is fun. I love the dust rising from the cars. It's now he is banging into my car. He's doing it on purpose. Not fair. Once you get a hang of it, you'll, you'll, just, you'll just ram it. So apart from all the fun he has getting people to come and play RC cars, Kiran also spends a fair amount of time designing and developing these cool toys. In fact, you could find him at IIT in Mumbai conducting lectures and workshops and yes, his bigger claim to fame. Kiran designed the RC toy that was used in the Bollywood blockbuster Three Idiots. That you have uh, designed and it has been used in the film Three Idiots as yeah, well. Tell yeah, us about yeah. that. It's like we did it for a DRDO. There was a team of people like with me. If, uh, and we four did it uh, for surveillance thing. It was funded by DRDO, Defense right. Research Development Organization. Yeah. It's a body which governs the inventions uh, for defense. Absolutely, but how did it get uh, to be used in the film? Film, like, uh, it, it's because of uh, some, because of Madhavan, he's into the, the actor, R. Madhavan, he's into this hobby yes. since long. And uh, then the director, in, and grossed it into, in, into the storyline that it matches 
uh, that thing. Right, okay. So Madhavan's interest actually saw it make its way into Three Idiots as a film. Yeah. But that's fantastic. You find a lot of uh, people uh, jumping into uh, this kind of sport, uh, this kind of outdoor activity because uh, obviously a lot of people love to fly. We were talking about uh, paragliding uh, not uh, too long ago here on Smart Funny Aspire. This is also something that comes uh, very close, like you yourself have a pilot's license, uh, yeah. a private uh, pilot's license. Yeah. You had aspirations to fly as well. You know, something like this comes uh, very close to the real thing. Yeah, it's it's very, very next to the real thing. The adrenaline you feel on your thumb, your heartbeat, the heart rate increases once your machine is just next to you going at a speed of 200 km per hour. So you can imagine how, uh, the, you can imagine the feel, how, how it, it can go like. And yeah, nowadays like this thing is growing. It's like a meditation. Uh, you are concentrating up on your machine. You are controlling with your thumb. Your eyes are working, and and you you can't imagine anything else in your mind when your machine is off the ground. Like, so it's fun. It's fun. It, it's a really a stress buster. Absolutely a stress buster, man and machine in perfect sync. And this is the man who has been at it, uh, putting all these machines together and is having a lot of fun. So there are ways in which you can turn your passion into a profession. It can be a smart investment as well, because once uh, you're doing these kind of things on the weekend, it is the kind of thing that will make your life worth living. That's what we always suggest here on Smart Money Aspire. Keep following your passion, keep dreaming big. Thanks so much for joining us.